Hey guys and welcome back to the AM Crypto channel, your trusted source for your crypto and Bitcoin updates. I'm so glad that you are tuning in again. If you enjoy my episodes, then please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and also activate the notification bell so that you will never miss out on these really important updates. I'm sorry that I did not make yesterday a video, but sometimes it just makes no sense to make one. I don't want to make a video for uh, the sake of a video. I really want to make videos when it actually makes sense. And today uh, we have actually again here something happening with Bitcoin and also the altcoin market that I definitely want to talk about. So definitely stick around here. And now let's directly jump into the the chart here so here on the four hourly chart for bitcoin um we can see that bitcoin is developing here a symmetrical triangle where we are bouncing up and down in between so and we can define that by the low point that we have here on the upward sloping support line because we got multiple touch points so we got here one so we got here one here another one and here now another one so that solidifies that support that we have here and also the resistance where we have here also multiple touch points along the resistance line so here actually uh two so and uh yeah we what we can observe here is that bitcoin is uh, moving here uh, in a tighter and tighter range and at some point the price has to make a decision either to break it to the upside or to the downside so and that is something that I uh, want to talk about today what I believe what is going to happen here in the immediate short term for Bitcoin so and for that uh, we have to look also on stochastic RSI so the stochastic RSI was here oscillating um, yeah, to the upside then it came back down here again so that was technically this move to the upside then this move to the downside then we moved up again a little bit and the small side was action in the price so while the stochastic RSI was going down but now now we see here signs that the stochastic RSI is giving us if we close this four hourly candle in 48 minutes as it is um, with a buy signal which should push the price again up to the resistance so and if the Bitcoin price can manage to break through this resistance then I want to show you what the next target would be for the Bitcoin price so and that target based on this pattern would be all the way up here at $37,600 which also coincides with um, a really big resistance level that we have here so and that resistance level comes from here this support area where it was support and we bounce nicely here back to the upside then we came down uh, here confirmed this again as support because we got a bounce back to the upside but then we started kind of gluing to this support line so and what happens when we test multiple times a support area or resistance area at some point it actually has to break and that was exactly what was happening here so we've broken it and went lower so and now I believe um, if we get the four hourly close here uh, the way how the candle is looking right now then we could be in here for some nice fireworks here to the upside but guys take this um, with a word of caution so this could technically be just another uh, fake out here to the upside and then we come back in here again and then actually break to the downside so if we would break this here to the downside, we can obviously both uh, both uh, trade both scenarios. Um, then to the downside, we are having a target of $23,000 that I was mentioning multiple times already that that would be a massive, massive area that I would be looking at and obviously closing beforehand uh, my long positions if we break here under $28,000. Uh, $700 approximately because this is also a major support now as we can see here there here and all the other times that we bounced off this so we were testing this already for technically six times so and it has held as support for now so but I believe if we come back down to retest this as support then this time it will actually give in and we break lower and then I'm um yeah of course uh, have to close all my long positions so but we can trade here both scenarios so if you want a long and we break it to the upside you can take a trade at thirty one thousand five hundred dollars approximately um, and if we break it to the downside at um, roughly twenty nine thousand three hundred two hundred dollars then we can open a short position and trade this uh, all the way 
to the downside. And guys, if you want to trade this, um, then you can go, for example, to Femex. There, I just opened a new long position that is now $200 in profit right now. So, or you go to Bybit. Sorry, guys, I have to show it on my phone today because um, on the computer it's not working. So, this is a little bit in a loss right now. Uh, let me show it to you guys like this. So this is a little bit in a loss right now, this this position. Oh, what is this? Uh, later. So, but I also keep this long position definitely open right now. So if you cannot see it correctly, it's around 28% in a loss. So, but my liquidation price is so low that I'm actually not thinking um, that I get liquidated there. Um, so, and if we are getting to 28,000, um, 700 approximately then i'm just closing this trade um, and i will not be liquidated on this position so here obviously my liquidation price is uh, way lower uh, on my femex position it's twenty seven thousand one hundred fifty dollars um, there also same scenario if we get that low i close the position so if you want to trade on bybit or on femex then you get four thousand and fifty dollars uh, on a bybit for signing up with my specific link or on femex four thousand one hundred dollars also with the link in the description of the video bybit actually reinstated the bonus after i annoyed them a little bit that the bonus uh, that they had yesterday was too small and they should bump it up and uh, luckily they came back to me and bumped it back up for you guys so you should definitely take advantage of that because as i mentioned already uh two days ago you never know how long this bonus is lasting so you should definitely take advantage of that so and now let's come here to today's sponsor so today's sponsor is wave exchange so and the wave exchange is a platform that provides the lowest trading fees in the crypto space right now so and um, you can uh, invest and trade crypto on this platform the main features of wave exchange are the anonymity the privacy the control over your funds and also the transparency and the governance by the users so um, yeah the platform itself uh, looks ac actually quite nice it's really clean uh, everything is explained here how many users they have the total amount is invested on the platform and also how much people are actually earning through the different staking um, yeah, possibilities that they have here so you can choose between liquidity pools the lumbo investment and the lp staking so i will get, get in here uh, a little bit more into the lumbo uh, investment so because that is the insurance fund um, of this platform you see i have here 21 dollars so and um the Lumbo investment is a semi DeFi product uh, on uh, the Waves blockchain with the most balanced risk profit strategy. So the reward, uh, as I just shown you here, the APY is around 64% uh, right now, and it's just climbing here over, uh, yeah, basically since over a year, it's just going higher and higher. So and the reward is about 60% and is provided by the lowest risk and the maximum drawdown uh, possible. Um, of the Lambo token and it cannot go deeper than 10%. So your investment is at every time secured here with a minimum APY of uh, 10%. So I will show you now how you can invest this. So you obviously have to first to deposit uh, some money here and if you do that, you click on invest. So then you choose the amount. So I should see the maximum amount. So that's then you see how much Lambo tokens I will get for this and then you click on invest. So and there you go, my transaction is on the way. Now I have invested in the Lambo token. So and like I said, it's an insurance token. So that provides that your tokens are invested in a smart contract. So which are then, um, yeah, basically generates profit through an algorithmic uh, strategy that uh, the Waves Exchange platform has. So it is provided through USDT and USDC that you have to deposit to actually use this. Um, on the platform. So then the price of the Lumbo asset is calculated by a specific formula. You can withdraw the tokens anytime. And it means that you can exchange your Lumbo tokens um, in invested tokens at a new price, fixing your profit or the loss. And yeah, um, currently, like I said, for the Lumbo investment, they are supporting USDT and US. DC. So if you want more information about this and actually want to use this to make some profit, especially now in this uh, bear trend that we are in right now, then go to the description of the video. There you find all the important links to uh, take advantage of that offer. So uh, now let's get back here to the market um, because here's also something really important happening at the total uh, market cap of um, crypto overall. So uh, what we can observe here is, uh, if I go into a daily chart, 
that also here on a daily chart, the total market cap is trading in a symmetrical triangle. So, and also here we are close to a breakout. So we have approximately another 10 days so to run here into the apex before um, the total market cap has also to make a decision either to break to the upside or to the downside. And that will be the um, yeah the uprise or the downfall of uh, a lot of altcoins. So obviously we want to see altcoins finally moving back here to the upside uh, because they bled quite a lot. So when we're looking here today in the market, so we have a little bit of green here. So it's like uh, a good mix 50-50. But if you look back three months back, the price were obviously way, way different than now. So and we obviously want to recoup um, the gains that we have lost over the last couple of months. For that, uh, we have to actually break out here. So and here the next resistance level, if we break to the upside, is around the 1.65 trillion dollar mark so that means we have uh, to get another four um, 40 billion into the crypto market back that uh, we actually can retest uh, this resistance all the way up here so and um, i think it this will coincide with a massive breakout in bitcoin obviously so once we see here a massive breakout in the bitcoin price uh, in the direction of 40,000, then we will also see that the total market cap will here heavily increase again because the confidence in the market will come back and people will be more likely then to uh, risk money again in risk uh, risky assets like altcoins um, in the crypto space. So I also want to show you uh, the daily here quick on Bitcoin. So there also uh, we are still trading here in that range. So we are now sitting slightly on top of that of that range here that the Bitcoin price is trading in. So but also here we need a daily a candle close above that range and the next daily candle pushing here to the upside. So I was observing here, I think on this chart. Yeah, something interesting here on the EMA ribbon. So the Bitcoin price tries now to break back into the EMA ribbon. We are slightly above it uh, under the uh, above the um, lowest string of the EMA ribbon so which is um, a small indication uh, to be a little bit bullish here in the immediate short term especially that the EMA ribbon is here slightly turning around already so let me actually try to make it a little, little bit more visible for you guys so there you can see that that the EMA ribbon here is slightly turning around so and that's what we want to see. But I believe that we still have some days of sideways action, but hopefully sideways up here uh, into the ribbon so that we can get here by the end of the month a nice flip of the EMA ribbon on the daily and get back into an uptrend on the daily and continue uh, then um, the Bitcoin uh, rise technically here into higher price levels. So, if we get rejected and we actually move here into lower levels here, close to the $23,000 level and break this specific low here, then uh, be prepared that most likely until the end of August, we will stay in a range of um, twenty dollars to $30,000 and will just bounce up and down in between that. So guys, that's it. Uh, that's my outlook for now. We can also have a quick look here again on stochastic RSI what's happening here. So yeah, here we are actually quite high. So and that's also like I said, um, I believe that for that reason, we see here a little bit more sideways action so that the stochastic RSI can actually cool down. So but it doesn't mean that the Bitcoin price has to come down. So uh, we have seen this in the past while it's coming down that the Bitcoin price um, I give you an example. Uh, let me give you an example. So here, so you see here, the Bitcoin price started to trending up where the stochastic RSI went down. So and that could be something similar that we could see here in the immediate short term uh, that we go here sl uh, slowly in a gradual way up sideways while the stochastic RSI is coming down. And then when we're going up again, then we see here some fireworks to the upside in the Bitcoin price. Let's also have a quick look here before I wrap it up at the um, normal RSI and let me close this one. So here's right now not a divergence to see. Unfortunately, we would like to see a nice bullish divergence, but it's uh, not really given right now. Um, yeah, but we are here in neutral territory. Also here, I would like to see a, another bounce from the yellow uh, moving average 
to the upside and going back above 50 to get uh, more um, into bullish territory guys that's it for today's episode i hope you enjoyed it uh, let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen in the immediate short term do we go a little bit more sideways or will we see here in the next couple of days already a massive breakout to the upside let me know in the comments i'm really curious so uh, other than that don't forget smash up the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and i will see you again tomorrow